mueve mi ese veo. Que se boom, 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 no mueve bato ese veo. I'm gonna tell you guys a final story before I leave here. Uh, I'm actually, I am a proud father of two. I have uh, my son, uh, they just started school today. My son Brody is eight years old, just started the third grade, and my daughter Bailey's about to turn six, and she just started first grade. That's fine, thank you. you can <laughs> And my daughter Bailey, who's uh, about to turn six, is a leukemia survivor. She's been in remission for about uh, almost five years. And, and my son Brody was her bone marrow donor for transplant, so he saved his sister's life. Thank you. So always, I do a big annual thing for uh, called Comedians for Cure, and it's a big thing to me. It's very important. But here's a, I'm not telling you for the sympathy or for the cheap applause, but I'll take it. I, um, I tell this story because I want you guys to learn something, okay? So God forbid you ever have a sick kid in your family or somebody you know has it. What happens is, right, we're blessed. We made it through it. Everybody's healthy. But now that we're on the other side of things, I'm the worst dad in the world. It turned me into the worst dad, and I'm okay with that because when your kids are sick or somebody you know is sick, you make all these deals with God, right? You're like, oh, please, God, I'll do anything. I'll spoil her. I'll give her anything she wants. And now she's healthy, and now I'm supposed to do all that shit, right? Like, it's kind of like if you met a girl, and she's hot, and she's with this dude that's a total douche, and you're like, honey, you should put up with that kind of stuff. If, if you were dating me, a girl like you, I mean, a girl like you deserves candlelight and wine, roses, and soft music. You deserve the best. And then she dumps that dude, and you start dating her, and she thinks you're actually going to do that shit? You're like, I said you deserve it. I didn't say I was going to actually... <laughs> So now, like, I'm the asshole because, like, I'm like, whatever, you know, I promised her she'd do whatever she wants. You want to jump on the couch, jump onto the tile, go ahead, I don't care. Go run around in traffic out in the street and play baseball, go ahead. You beat cancer, you can do whatever you want, honey, I don't care. Ice cream man wants to take you for a ride in the van, text me if you need me, I don't care. <laughs> God's got a sense of humor, man, he's already getting me back with these kids, right? He's already getting me back, I'm telling you right now. I, I've been trying to lose weight. I told you, I've been trying to diet, right? So I've been like eating really healthy. I promised my kids, I was a Diet Coke fiend, and I promised my kids, no more soda, no more Coke products, no more Diet Coke, no nothing. So we're at Sweet Tomatoes, we're eating the other day, and I'm drinking my water, and then I go to get a refill, and Sweet Tomatoes is packed, and it's hustle and bustle, and I'm thinking nobody's paying attention, I'm gonna try to just get a quick shot of Diet Coke in my water cup, you know what I mean? Just a little, just a quick little fix. And I'm over there, I start squirting the Diet Coke, and my son Brody stands up in the middle of the booth, and goes,